Holiday Man Show. And look who's back. Hello, Al. Boy is back. It's nice to see you, man. It's lovely to see you too. How's your week been? Yeah, it's been really good. But we did think it was going to be warmer tonight. We did. That's why we've come outside. We're all but... excited because we thought it's going to yeah. be boiling. And no, here I am. Al's got the picnic rug on, and picnic I've got the old body on. warmer yeah. on. But no, good week. Good week, thanks. Good. Lots what of lambing. Puppies born, and I got stuck in a massive traffic jam on the way down. But do you know what? It's yeah, all worth it because I love working on a bank holiday. Our crew were delighted. It. Yeah. Well, tonight's guests love nothing more than being stuck in a car together. Luckily, from the love of cars, it's Ant Amstead and Philip Glenister. Oh, look at that! Good to see you. Hola. Phil, good to see you. Are you Hello. 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 Oh, Hello. 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 Oh, this is very formal, isn't it? Yeah, it's really Hello. formal. Uh, nice to see you. <laughs> nice so to you, be you're here. You're working on Lovely this. warm evening. I know, I know. <laughs> we apologise. You can borrow this list. Yeah. And so you're working well. on this project together. Um, yes. Which is fantastic. You came on last year to talk about it, didn't you? Yeah. Um, but we were doing research on you, Anne, because we've not met before. OK. And uh -oh. we found <laughs> out you used Don't. to be a policeman. I was a copper, which, yeah. Which is ironic, really, because, Phil, of course, you... So was I! <laughs> yeah, I, I was That's a real, where we're going. I was a real policeman, though, not a make-believe one. Yeah. How, how does it... How does I was he, cooler. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you think he sort of fares up, then, as a cop? What, in the real world as a copper? Yeah. Well, you can't go around bashing people about like Gene Hunt. <laughs> no. You yeah. have to be nice to the public. Um, yes, you do. But, mm. yeah, we, we were both coppers. One of us did it for real, one of us did it make-believe. One of us got paid more, though. Uh, <laughs> but you, you've also been swapping <laughs> skills, haven't you? Because you've been teaching Phil how to drive. Uh, so yeah. how's he fared? Any good? Honestly, hand on heart, possibly the worst driver I know. <laughs> right. Give me the check back. Give me the, no, no, give the check back. Listen, obviously, Phil has a reputation for breaking stuff. So the only reason oh. he benefits from having a mechanic like me is if he breaks it, I've got fixed. Rude. And man. as you know, deadlines in telly are tough. Yeah. He makes them tougher. Remember, there's other car presenters available, Anthony. <laughs> well, you, well, what are you doing? As of now. Hey, that's a good point. But <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, listen. Now, as we're outside tonight, yeah. uh, we thought we, you know we've got a bit more room here, so we're going to set you a challenge if you're up for this. I'm yeah, sure yeah. you've got an idea of what is going on here, yeah. but you can see this VW Beetle. It has no engine in at the moment. Yeah, no so engine. the question is, can you, in the time of this programme, before we say goodbye, <laughs> fit this VW Beetle with the engine and then drive off? I can answer that. No. <laughs> that is not the spirit. Right, how long have we got? How long You've have we got, got 28 20, and a half. 27 maybe by now. 27, 27 minutes. minutes. Okay, if you went to your local garage, 27 minutes, engine install, what would they say? It'd be done, like that. I can't argue. <laughs> wow, where's your garage? <laughs> I'm, I'm Go on. joking. Good Go for it. Off he goes. Come on, we're going to do this by the end of tonight's programme. Uh. Put this car with an engine and drive away. And that is not all we have, because we've got the winner of Saturday's The Voice and his mentor, Ricky Wilson. They're over here, too. They're going to be performing Stevie's new single at the end of the show. Poor Stevie. I'm sure he just wants to spend time with his family. Mm. Good yes, but anyway, he's here tonight. He's going to sing for us yeah. at the end. Uh, now, we heard what you've done over the holidays. Yeah. Lambing. Uh, but when we were little, we used to spend all our time outside. We were talking riding bikes, collecting tadpoles, building dens. F favorite thing to do as a child? In as a child? Holidays. Uh, we used to build tree houses, actually. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. That's very good. Hands. But with more and more children preferring to play computer games mm. instead of getting outdoors, are they missing out on the simple pleasures? Well, Alex Riley has had a very active Easter holiday indeed. He's down on the beach in Western Supermare. <laughs> He's a big kid, isn't he, Alex yeah. Riley? You see, this is classic. You see, introduce some oil or a massive pile of mud and you will never get your children out of it. That's the idea. Just literally, as I found out over the weekend, massive pile of mud, chuck the kids in, Great fun. Mm. So, how, how are you getting on, Ant? Is it? I mean, you, are you want yeah, to talk? You're in? welcome to, to, you know, help. <laughs> Actually, no, you stay away. <laughs> but you got two others there. <laughs> no, we've got this. The thing is, poor Ant has put he's put his best clothes on as well. He didn't expect to be putting an engine back in a car. Love him. Yeah. Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> nothing, nothing. You just carry on. Just um, glad you made the effort. <laughs> Blue suede. So, Philip, shoes. let's talk about the series then, for mm. the love of cars. Tell us the concept. How it how it all um, works. Okay, well it's the second series, and really it's just a celebration of um, of classic cars. And uh, let's move. Let, yeah, let's let's take us. In the way. We should be in the waiting being room. Attacked by mechanics. We should be in the waiting room. Go on. Um, and, and so yeah, so it's really a celebration of, of British cars. And in this particular series, what we've done is we've got seven um, cars right. that we're restoring. Well, answer restoring. Mm -hmm. um, 
Whose and cars are these? Well, they belong to people basically who started a restoration project, but for whatever for various different reasons couldn't finish it. So we um, we've undertaken to finish it for them, right. and then we take the cars to auction, and the money raised at auction um, it goes back to the owners. Okay, and so, in the yeah. first episode, you actually meet a hero of yours in terms of cars. Don't you tell us about the Aston Martin? Oh yeah, yeah. I um I got to. I, unfortunately, I didn't get to drive it because of insurance purposes and weather purposes. Well, and we've heard about your driving, so that you know <laughs> your reputation precedes you for. Yeah, yeah. Given, given an option to drive the Persuaders car. Get on with it, Ant. <laughs> oh, you're good. <laughs> you got a new co-presenter, Anthony. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, it was the Persuaders car. It was uh, the car that was driven by Roger Moore in the Persuaders, which was right. a, a, a huge favourite of mine as a kid. Um, and it, um, he played a character called Lord Brett Sinclair. And the car sort of typified his his uh, his seat as a as a, mm. as a you know character. Really. It, it's this it's this beautiful yellow car, isn't it's it? I tell you what, DBS. Let's beautiful. just have a look at your reaction when you do come face <laughs> to face with it. Mm -hmm. Forty years on, and I can't believe what's about to happen. I'm about to meet my childhood hero in a drafty barn in the middle of the English countryside. <gasps> it's my baby. There it is. BS1. My favourite car on the entire planet. As driven by Roger Moore. Uh, it is a beautiful car. Yeah, um, but beautiful you, price. You guys well. found an Aston Martin, an old clapped out Aston we Martin. We did. Didn't we you found a DBS as a barn find, um, which was in a right old state, I have to say. Yeah, it is um, in a right old state. Oh, there it is. is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that, I mean, that's no sort of like, you know, props guys coming in and messing with well, That was how we found it. Um, and then we let old um, Wonder Boy here loose. Um, and, well, you'd have to watch the show to see what he does with it. But can we, can we, we have got incredible. a pic, can we show you a pic, can we, are we allowed to show a picture of it? Because we have I got the finished one. Have a, I we think we can, allowed. we're allowed, allowed to. Then, there hey, look, at, look at that. How long did that take then? Uh, seven weeks, eight weeks. Eight I think weeks. Eight weeks. That to that? Yeah. It's basically uh -huh. like homes under the hammer for cars because yeah. that one was what thirty-seven grand when he bought it, or thirty-seven yeah. and a half, wasn't it? Mm. And you may we won't we won't give the game no. away, but no. you made quite a tidy profit on it, didn't we you? We did all right. Yeah. I mean, it, the thing about auctions, you can never tell who's going to be in the room. And um, what you ideally need, it's it's like anything. You need two people that want want mm -hmm. the, the product enough, course, want the yeah. car enough. Unfortunately. We had a bit of a bidding war, yeah. which was great for us. Perfect. You know, but it is, a, I mean, it's, a, it's stunning what mm. he's done with the car. And I wanted it to be, um, my, I mean, my job is really just to pick the colour and the spec, you know. Bear that, touch of that. You uh -huh. know, like red leather. Yeah, exactly. And is, yeah. It, are you, is this something that you're going more into then, a bit more presenting? What, car design? Well, just, well, just <laughs> anything, in, you know, like presenting-wise and stuff like that, or are you going to stick, stick with the acting? Well, no, I mean, I, well, you know, I mean, it's quite nice to, to juggle both if I can, uh -huh. you know. I've never done the presenting thing before other than this. Yeah. Um, you know, so never say never, but as long as I'm still required as an actor. OK. Yeah, well, listen. Well, do both, isn't it? Um, Look at this still, Phil. Have a look at this. All right. Now, what would you call this iconic British car? Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 try. Let's just try again a, on that. It's a Robin one. Reliant. It's a Rob. Is it? Is ah. it? Is it a Robin Reliant? But What's is it? it? You're supposed to be complimentary. Is it a Robin Reliant? Is it yours? Well, ask yourself that question <laughs> at home. Here's Jasper Carrot with the real answer. <laughs> well, all of this clanging and banging that's going on behind us, if you didn't see uh, the beginning of the programme, you won't know that at the start of the show, we set car restorer and mechanic Ant Anstead the challenge of installing a VW Beetle engine into the car, oh. which has just dropped down onto the... You've got three minutes, lads! You've got three minutes... You're going to do it, yeah? OK, uh, we'll see. We positive. had a little cough earlier on, but there we go. Um, and we're going to hear Stevie's performance yes. of the new thing. He hasn't had much time to put this together, has he? Two days? No, but he's so professional. He's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely that was fantastic. superb. Uh, let's Beautiful. see, then, if this old Beatley here is operational and start her up, if you Come can. Come on, Ant. <laughs> oh! oh Sweet as a nut as well. You've done it. That's oh, it. Yeah. See you later. Us. A big thank you to our guests this evening, Phil Bannister and Anne Anstead. And you can see for the love of cars on the 19th of April, 8 pm on Channel 4. Bye. With the Bruce Forsyth.
see that box. <laughs>